now you're taking her side? No, no, I support you. I'm just not getting involved. Because you have such a future, right? Apparently more than you. Future or no future, revenge is a dish best served cold, like pizza. Well, do you seriously eat pizza cold? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Now I know you're out of your fucking mind. Hot pizza is just grease. There's grease in cold pizza. It's just solidified, schizo. Okay, can we talk about this in the courtyard? What for? I prefer to be told I'm crazy outside where it's warm, not in the mental ward-like cafeteria with freezing cold AC vents. Just hold your pizza up to one you'll like it more. And you got the tickets, right? Uh, tickets for what? Oh my god, you really forgot again. The dinner theater? Oh, yeah, I can, like, order those tonight still. Don't bother, I'll do it myself. Sorry, yeah, okay. If you were actually sorry, you wouldn't have fucked it up the first time. Yeah, I'll, I'll try better next time. Stressed out enough teaching this class. Does this bitch just yell at all our students? He's our student, too. What do you mean, student, too? They're dating, you didn't know that? No, but it checks out. I thought it was kind of weird he was the only one in class not making fun of her. I know for a fact he wants out of it, too. He's flirted with, like, three of my friends so far. Not surprising. A bitch like her, I cheat on her, too. She's in that weird category of just barely pretty enough to be super demanding. God, the sex with her must be so bad. I don't even think he's getting that. She was raised Catholic, like, super prudish. Do you just know everything about this bitch? What? I've been around longer. You just hear this shit. All right, don't worry about it. Because I think I have my in. In for what? Megan's life. A boyfriend she isn't fucking is the perfect weakness for me to exploit. This is starting to sound like a red tube video. Ew, I'm not gonna fuck him. Okay, just checking, because every video on there sounds exactly like that. Like what? Like, oh, you killed my parents. I'll show you with the most suffocating blowjob ever captured on video. Dude, how much red tube do you watch? Don't worry about it. Fine, but anyway... Me and Hunter share a science class next period. That's convenient. What are you gonna do? Let's just say I'm gonna... order a hot pizza. And wait for it to get cold? You know me so well. And so, that's why I wasn't super broken up when my wife killed herself. Any questions? Jeffrey. Yeah, what's our science lab going to be about today? I meant questions about my wife killing herself. Oh, sorry, no. So for today's lab, we'll be identifying which element is which based on its mass and volume. Get into your groups while I grab the supplies. Oh, my partner's out today. Damn, that sucks. Are you going to be okay? Uh, yeah, I guess, but it's gonna be bullshit effort doing it alone. I could partner with you if you want. Really? I thought you hated this class. Well, we're both in drama, so it might help to know each other if we're gonna act. I thought you hated that class, too. I'm warming up to it. But, Nicole, I thought we were lab partners- SHUT UP! SHUT THE FUCK UP! GO AWAY! Oh. Wasn't that kind of harsh? Yesterday, he was telling me about how he kills dogs in his backyard. I can't work with someone like that. Huh. Okay, I guess that was justified. Sit with me. Cool. You don't mind if I look at porn on my phone, do you? Uh, no. Awesome, yeah. It's something I do when I'm bored. That's not TMI, is it? Uh, I'm okay with it. But, uh, why do you do it at school? Kind of add something to it, I don't know. So what are you doing after school? I gotta go to the dentist for a cavity. They always make me gag with all those tools. I hate it. Can't relate. You like the dentist? What? No, I meant gagging. I don't have a gag reflex. Oh, you're so lucky. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I like testing my limits. Oh, you mean like... uh... Yeah, like that. But don't worry, I know Megan's your girlfriend. I won't cross any lines, I'm just honest about myself. Uh, honesty's good, I don't mind it. Sweet, I think we'll get along just fine in drama. By the way, I realized you're technically dating your teacher. Ultimate fantasy, right? Um, I guess so. She's an actor-actor, too. Do you guys ever roleplay? No, can't say we do. I guess she's burned out after acting at school all day, right? Yeah. I guess you could say that. But me personally, I love role-playing. Oh, cool. Well, what are some things you play? You have a girlfriend and you're asking me about my role-playing? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... Dude, relax. I'm fucking with you. Honestly, you don't need to worry. I have a sixth sense for relationships, and I can tell Megan's a lot of fun. You can? 
How fun is she? Okay, don't tell her I told you this, but just based on her personality, I can tell she gives amazing head. Am I right? Uh, your sixth sense might need some work. Oh my god, was I wrong? Is she really bad at it? She doesn't really do any of that. How long have you been dating? A few months now. Wow, I'm really sorry you're in a relationship like that. Do you want my number in case you want to vent or anything? Yeah, okay, I'll punch it in. Now that you mention it, the relationship does feel kind of manipulative sometimes. And that's why I want to be there for you. Because trust me, I know all about manipulative relationships. Okay, so this is a romance improv. We're going to need this to see who's best for our mini-production of Romeo and Juliet. Who's going first? Well, we need a guy and a girl. Hunter, why don't you go first? All right, sure. Now who's going to play the other side? Emily? This is for romance? Yeah, romance improv. No, he's ugly. <laughs> I'll do it. <gasps> Seriously? Yeah, I won't get better if I don't practice, right? Okay, go ahead. What's the scene again? You're about to go to prison for ten years, and this is your last conversation with your girlfriend. Scandalous. This might be the last time we ever talk face to face. Are you sure? You'll beat the case. I know you will. My lawyer said it's not looking good. If I'm lucky, I'll get out in five for good behavior. Well, you're just gonna take that? You're free now, aren't you? What do you mean? Let's run away to Mexico. They won't find you there. I would, but... This ankle monitor isn't doing me any favors. Just cut it off. I don't have any scissors. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So you're really just gonna serve the time? No other options. But what about me? What am I gonna do with myself without you? Do you think you can wait for me on the outside? I don't know. All your friends really want to have sex with me. Look, I can't control you from the inside. Just... Keep me in the dark about it. You're giving up that easy? I thought you loved me. I guess not enough. You're just telling yourself that to feel less bad about missing me. But actions speak louder than words. Whenever you touch me, I know the truth. But... but what am I supposed to do? Touch me one more time. Take me to my limit with your last night of freedom and don't ever forget the feeling! Uh. Uh... And scene. What? We can't keep going? That's enough, Nicole. Okay, who else wants to try? Maybe a little too scandalous. Emily, do you know where to buy whippets without getting carded? Uh, no, sorry. I don't even do whippets. Damn, because you really look like a girl who does whippets. Oh my god, thank you. A little weird she took that as a compliment. Nicole, I need another talk with you. Shit, I went overboard. Over what? Nothing. So what's the problem this time? Actually, there's no problem at all. I just wanted to let you know I really appreciated the effort today. Seriously? Yeah, your scene with Hunter today showed a lot of passion and actually kind of moved me. It's like you were really trying to make him fall in love with you. It showed a lot of talent. Oh, well... Okay, thanks. And Nicole, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry for being so hard on you. At first I thought you were just another disingenuous white kid taking drama because it's easy, but you really care. Yeah, I guess. So thanks, I'll see you later, Megan. Uh, Nicole? Yeah? I told you it's Miss Megan. You know World Star Hip Hop? No, what's that? It's this video site with nothing but Waffle House fights and butt implants gone wrong. Butt implants? Yeah, I don't get it either, but when they screw it up, it just slides around in their leg. Ew, gross! Do you want to see it? Yeah, but later. I'm texting someone right now. You've been on the phone, like, all day. Who are you talking to? Little Caesar's cold and ready. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah, how's it going with Megan's boyfriend? I'm making some pretty good progress. And so far, I got 10, 11 pictures of his dick so far. God damn, he's desperate. Yeah, but I'm trying to get one with his face in it, too, so I can prove it's him. Yeah, or else that could be anyone's dick. But what if he's just tricking you with a picture of someone else? Why would a guy carry around 11 angles of someone else's erection? He could be gay. He's definitely not gay. No gay guy would skeet in his mom's jewelry box for me. Uh, why would he do that in his mom's jewelry box? I told him it would really turn me on, and within 90 seconds he sent a picture of it. You want to see? Ugh. Yes. Look at this. Jesus Christ, it's like filled up. Pearl necklace on a pearl necklace. What's that thing in the bottom corner? That's the head. Ew, uncircumcised! That's disgusting! 
Everything, get it away! You thought he'd send 11 pics of a photogenic dick? I'm gonna throw up! Uncircumcised men should fucking kill themselves! Maybe that's why you want to include his face. Well, you better figure something out quick before he breaks up with her to go for you. Shit, you're right. Then it wouldn't be cheating anymore. Meaning it wouldn't hurt Megan anymore. Meaning you flirted with this guy for literally nothing. As it stands now, you're technically into him. I cannot let that happen. So, um, do we divide the mass by the volume? Couldn't tell ya. Or maybe we multiply the density by the mass. Dude, I'm failing this class anyway, who gives a shit? Is something bothering you right now? Not really, it's just... Caring about science is for white guys who correct your grammar. Oh, right. Actually, there's sorta of been something I've been thinking about lately. Oh, you don't correct my grammar. No, not that. Just... Us? What about us? I had fun texting last night. Did you not like it? No, I liked it too. It's just... I think about how I feel talking to you. And compare it with talking to Megan. And I don't think she actually likes me. What? How so? She just doesn't humor me the way you do. It doesn't feel like she actually loves me. Are you sure? I think you could stick it out a little longer. I could, but I don't really want to. It's no fun being with some bossy prude. If she liked me for me, she would have done something by now. Hey, now, I don't think that's necessarily true. She just needs time, and you gotta be there when she's ready. Even so, though, aren't I cheating on her if I keep this up with you? Keep what up? Like, sending you all those pictures? You mean when you came in your mom's jewelry box? Did anyone need my help over here? Yeah, actually, for the- No, we're fine, just thinking. Okay. Jeffrey, could you draw a better picture of my dead wife? The, yeah, the jewelry box? Yeah, among others. That was really hot, by the way. You really thought so? I, I had another one like that, but I forgot to send it. Another jewelry box? No, it was on my brother's Uno collection. Uh, like, like Uno the restaurant? No, Uno the card game. Oh. How can you have a collection of Uno? Like, all the different versions. NFL Uno, Batman Uno, Simpsons Uno. And you just put them all together and blew a fat load on them? Yeah, and while I was doing it, I was thinking about you and... Oh God, listen to me. What's wrong? We're just having a normal conversation. Megan has no idea we're doing this. It feels kind of messed up. Look, it's perfectly okay. Just think about it like this. Your relationship with her is a long-term romance kind of thing, like dating and whatever. She really loves you, but needs time for the rest of it. Well, yeah, but the time is killing me. And if time's the issue, you just need a friend to kill time with. But what would Megan think? Megan doesn't need to know. If she won't explore your urges, there's nothing wrong with finding someone who will. Besides, it's only cheating if you say you love me. Seriously? Yeah, that's been the rule since forever. As long as we don't kiss and do all that mushy stuff, we can hang out however we want. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I never looked at it like that. That's what I'm here for. So, are you doing anything tonight? Actually, I wanted to invite you to something. For real? What is it? Do you want to go to church with me this Saturday? Megan canceled on me. Uh, I'm sorry, church? Yeah, it's a parking lot function with food and games, but also little ceremonies in the middle to appreciate the Lord. The Lord? Like Jesus? Yeah, the one and only. So, you snap pictures of your penis while frequenting a church? Yeah, I know, but that's what confession's for, right? And you're gonna tell a priest you came in your mom's jewelry box? Yeah, I'll have to this Sunday, huh? Go on blind and just forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. So you're telling me you blindly say to a guy all the sex shit you did over the week and call him Father, but not Daddy? What? I don't... What do you mean? Sorry, Red Tube. What's... So you want to go? Nicole, please report to the counselor's office. Repeat, Nicole, please report to the counselor's office. Thank you. Looks like I gotta go. I'll get back to you on that, though. Just let me know by Friday. This is the first time being here is less awkward than where I just was. Nicole, hope I'm not interrupting too much with your class. It was actually the perfect amount of interruption. Regardless, I wouldn't want to knock you off of your newfound drive. Driving where? I meant your effort. Your sudden passion for scholastic participation. Since when? Did you just lie to get me in here? Of course not. 
You're saying that you haven't gone the extra mile in theater and science lately? Your teachers in both spoke very highly of you. Oh, uh, they have? Yes, they're both very impressed with your sudden initiative when it comes to participating in the classroom. Quite frankly, it's pleasantly surprising to hear, given your prior reputation. As your counselor, it'd be important to know. What's the sudden inspiration? Oh, um, drama and science? Couldn't tell ya. I'm just really smart, I guess. Well, either way, great to see one of our most beautiful students isn't just a pretty face. What a great opinion to have of a teenage girl. Not to mention a daring fashion sense. You have a knack for turning heads, don't you? Whoa, now you're really flirting. Nothing flirtatious about admiring a creative mind. You picked out such vibrant shorts. They shape you out very nicely. Sorry, I'll try not to show off next time. Nonsense. You're more than welcome to show off in here. Why don't you give me a twirl? You're literally 40. Why do you want to see my ass? Now, Nicole, it's not about that. Just to admire you as a whole. Now, go ahead and give me that twirl. Dude, I'm white. There's nothing to see anyway. Can I go now? Oh, now that sounds like a low self-esteem. If I could volunteer a few more compliments... I'm gonna go while I can still voluntarily leave. Bye! I got your text. Sorry, I was caught up. What happened? I was in French 2 and called the weird kid Rugrats fetish and got held after. Like, Rugrats the cartoon? Yeah. That's a really good diss. I know. Everybody laughed and the teacher made both of us stay after for me to apologize to him. But then after that, I was forced to say three nice things about him. Well, he was there to his face? Yeah, talk about awk as fuck. That's literally cruel and unusual punishment. What'd you even say? One of them was, you don't smell that bad. Like, I had no idea what to say. Did he get turned on while you did it? Like, think of how often a regular girl would say something nice to him. Was trying to block that out. When he gets home, he's going straight for your Facebook summer photos. Shit, and I forgot my password too. So what were you freaking out about? Megan's boyfriend. I thought she said the counselor was horny. Oh, that's like every week. I'm already over that. But no, her boyfriend is out of his fucking mind. Well, yeah, he sent 11 dick pics for nothing back. No shit. No. He invited me to church this Saturday. Isn't church on Sunday? He's so involved with the church, he goes more than just Sunday. Oh, he's one of those those. Is it really that surprising, though? I didn't think a guy who cheats on his girlfriend and photographs his dick would have a strong relationship with Jesus, I guess. Oh, yeah, no, I've seen it. I would so get off to your pictures if it wasn't for my faith in God. Like, okay, thanks. How'd you even get that far with a guy so religious? That's when I found out. Like, what the fuck do I say? I didn't know Jesus was the escrow in titty pics. Who even is Jesus anymore, anyway? Someone pedophile's fine to say they're not pedophiles anymore? You think our counselor will ever find Jesus? Yeah, if Jesus is a 15-year-old girl wearing juicy couture. High hopes. So, I guess I'll just go to a really awkward drama class tomorrow. How are you gonna tell him no? You just distract him. Hey, so I can't go to church, but you know what I do wanna do? You know what I wanna do really fucking badly? That was cool. How do you do that? Dude, 90% of dirty talk is just rhetorical questions. So like I warned last week, here's my casting for the school's Romeo and Juliet production. Let's see, for Romeo we have... Wait, they made a play about Romeo? Uh, yeah, Romeo's the lead character. Isn't that Master P's kid? Why'd you take the little out of his name? No, as in Romeo Montague? It's Shakespeare, we studied this all month! So it's not Lil Romeo and Juliet then? Yeah, what the fuck? Enough! So... Playing the part of Romeo is Hunter. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. A little more excitement? Can we applaud the castings? Yeah, yay. Thanks, guys. And playing the role of Juliet will be... Not me, not me, not me. Nicole! Oh, thank God. Seriously? Yeah, you earned it. I know we got off to a rocky start, but your onstage synergy with Hunter has really blown my mind. I can't think of anyone better for the part. I'll text you about rehearsal later tonight, Nicole. Cool, yeah, sure. For a pairing like this, communication is everything. Good luck, you guys. You're gonna need it. Oh, you too. No, I don't want to talk about the fucking script. Just send the shit. What's going on? Nothing. Aw, oh, dude, that does not sound like nothing. Who are you texting? A guy. Whoa, a guy? Is he getting serious? Ew, I'm not having this conversation with you. Is he asking for ass pics or something? Can you not? I can give you the ass pics trump card if you want to know it. Just so you can see it coming if he tries using it. What trump card? Oh, it's real simple. If any girl's holding out on me, I just make it about trust and how I'll kill myself if she doesn't trust me. What? There's no way that works. No, it works like every... 
Well, not every time, but like 10% of the time. What girl would respond emotionally enough to a suicidal guy begging to jack off to her? Well, you're a sociopath. You don't respond emotionally to anything. You wouldn't get it. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, suit yourself. But in case you fall for it, the light's really good in the bathroom. You're my brother. Yeah? Why would you care about the quality of my ass pics? Uh, no, it's, uh, I gotta go. They had to teach us about ancient Greece in school. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. It's been 45 seconds, asshole. Haven't gotten anywhere on this full body pic. But let's try idiot's way. Do you not trust me? I just want to see you all in one picture because it would be really, really... I got him. Got what? You know what. Blink tickets? They're not even together anymore. The pictures? Oh yeah, for the revenge you're still plotting. How's that going? Let's just say I have the key ingredient. He really sent you a picture with just everything in it? He sent a lot of pictures with everything in it. After the first one, the floodgates just open. Why would he send that many pictures of the same thing over and over? Oh, I had him write different things on himself and some pictures of it. Stuff like loser, Nicole's bitch, Megan's a whore, just cool shit. So that's why you weren't picking up yesterday. Busy with the worst shit imaginable. I don't know. Last night was the closest I got to any sexual gratification in this whole plan. Literally how? It's just some ugly guy writing shit on himself. No, not the visual. Just the raw control felt really awesome. Nicole, that's what rapists say, just so you know. I mean, I guess, but like... I'm a girl, what am I gonna do? Guys will fly off the handle for barely anything. Yeah, guys will not get a Lego set when they're five and 30 years later molest kids over it. Exactly. Now on to the next step. Are you gonna post the pictures online somewhere? No, I think I'm gonna hold on to these until the time is right. And what time is that? Oh, you'll know. I think everyone's gonna know. We're on less than five, guys. Phone's off. Let's get it together. Megan's number? Check. Picture of her boyfriend with his weird dick out? Check. Hey, Nicole. Good luck tonight. Good luck to you, too. We got two minutes into the first scene before Megan checked her phone. Honestly, I thought she wouldn't check till intermission. What an amateur. So she ran out on stage in the middle of a Romeo line, yelling out of control and just broke down crying in front of everybody. They were taking videos, laughing. It was pretty fucking cool, actually. Then she had to go to the ER for a panic attack, and that was really fucking cool. Jekka kept asking me why I'd go through rehearsing for a whole play, even though I knew it'd end like that. Well, I had to commit to it, otherwise she was going to see what was up. If I sent the picture as soon as I got it, she'd have time to resolve everything before the play anyway. There's no satisfaction in that. You see these movies where people kill someone for revenge, but it's like, you're going to let them off that easy? I didn't break a single law, and this is like ten times the payoff. She's going to be mentally fucked for the rest of her life over this, and I just feel good about it. Now Megan's going to end up a cat lady, because any guy she dates will just remind her of me. Remind her what any girl's capable of if you push her far enough.